This is a video from one of our Design and Configure example DriveWorks Solo projects. This particular one shows how you can configure a toolbox that utilizes sheet metal. All the design rules and know-how have been set up in the project already so that new variations can be created simply by entering our requirements on the forms. This example project, along with several others, is available to download from the DriveWorks Solo website. Clicking on the Run Specification button launches a new specification. The first form is an opportunity to specify an order number for this specification and asks us to fill out the customer details for this toolbox. We are asked to input the customer name, the company they work for and the address for the company. Or, if it's an existing company, we can choose the details from a set of drop-down boxes. Once all the information is filled out correctly, the next button is enabled and we can begin to design our toolbox. On the first form, we can determine the height and width of the toolbox, using the spin buttons to cycle through the options for height and selecting the width from a drop-down. Minimum and maximum sizes have been set for these controls. The next series of forms asks us to configure the different sets of drawers that make up the toolbox, starting with the top drawers, where we are asked to choose from one, two or three drawers in the top section. The next two forms also ask us to choose how many drawers we would like in the left and right sides. Once we have configured the drawers, we are asked to choose optional extras such as the type of casters required and the colour of the toolbox. Finally, we are given the choice between a standard curved handle or a bar handle for the user. The final form gives the user a summary breakdown of the options they have selected. Once we are happy with the selections, we can click Preview to see what we have specified. By clicking the Preview Model button at the top of the Solo Task pane, the models alone will be generated. The Preview generation takes a copy of the Master Model gives it a temporary name and puts it in a temporary location. DriveWorks then generates the model to the value specified in the project and displays the results. This is far quicker than clicking finish as the drawings and documents are not generated and the models are not fully saved. It also means that the user can make any changes they want before committing and clicking finish. Now that the generation is complete, the model has been generated to the exact values that were entered onto the forms. If the model design isn't completely correct, the values of the model can be changed and the model can be previewed again. We can then go back and edit the size of our toolbox. Once we have determined the width and height and configured the options for each set of drawers, we can re-preview the model and DriveWorks will make the changes to that current model. Once the engineer is happy with the model, they can also preview the drawings that will be produced with this project. Again, like the model, drawings can be previewed by clicking this button here. This uses the temporary models just created and generates the drawings captured against the models, based on the rules created in the project. Notice that each drawing will open, and on each drawing sheet the drawing views will rescale resize and reposition based on the rules created. Taking a look at the drawing, you can see the information from the project has populated the borders, the bill of materials has been updated, as well as other notes on the form. Once you are happy with all the files that have been previewed, click finish to allow DriveWorks to finalize all the models and drawings and save them into the file location determined in your rules. With everything checked in the finish dialog, all the models and drawings will be saved permanently to their location and all of this will be displayed in Windows Explorer when it is complete. As the model is rebuilt, the temporary file name at the top of the SOLIDWORKS screen is updated to reflect the file name based on the rules set up in the project. The drawings are also generated, with the general arrangement drawings being rebuilt and saved to the location specified in the rules for this project. Now that the generation is complete, 
we are presented with the files saved in their locations. We have structured the files in this project to be organised into models and drawings folders, each containing the appropriate files. In addition to this, the report file will be saved in the same location as a drive report file which can be viewed retrospectively. So that brings us to the end of our video for our toolbox project. Remember that you can download the project yourself, fill out the forms over and over again, and configure your own toolbox. If you have any questions about the video, the project, or DriveWorks Solo, please contact your SolidWorks DriveWorks reseller, email support at driveworksolo.com, or check out the help file for useful information.